You should practice using the PowerPro XT controls with an unoccupied stretcher before attempting to operate the stretcher with a patient. Two operators are required to operate a stretcher with a patient at all times. The stretcher will fully raise and lower in less than six seconds and has 318 kilograms weight capacity. The power controls for raising and lowering are located at the foot end of the stretcher. Controls are duplicated, one set on each of the two lift bars. The lower lift bar is mainly used as a backup when loading the stretcher manually, without the assistance of power load. Either set can be used to raise or lower the stretcher in a stationary position. Before raising or moving the patient, make sure patient restraints are fastened and the side rails are up. Also ensure that the loose ends of the restraints are on top of the mattress so they don't get tangled in the mechanism or wheels. Notice that the control switches have a protective cover to prevent accidental actuation. The buttons are contoured for touch recognition. The foot end operator presses the plus or convex button to go up and the minus or concave button to go down. Contoured buttons provide touch recognition so you can keep eyes on the patient. When the stretcher reaches the desired height, release the button and the stretcher will stop. Note, it's good practice to keep both hands on the stretcher handles when raising and lowering. When raising the stretcher, it will stop at a preset height equal to the loading height of the ambulance. To raise the stretcher to a higher position, hold the plus button down and the stretcher will raise to the highest position. You'll notice that when the stretcher is high, the patient's surface will be on a slight angle. This angle shifts the weight of the patient over the centre of the stretcher, increasing stability of the stretcher and patient safety. When in higher positions, to again position at loading height, lower the stretcher below the loading height by pressing minus button and raise again by pressing the plus button. The stretcher will again stop at the preset loading height. It's important to note both weight and size should be considered in determining if a patient is suitable to be transported on the stretcher. You should refer to protocol A9 bariatric patients and the associated SOP for further information regarding appropriate transport options for bariatric patients. For patients over 226 kilograms, both operators may need to slightly assist the stretcher when raising.